Now, what about Gap? Your film about yes. some kids locked in a clothing store overnight and then having sex. No, this, that was career opportunities. Uh. Anyway, the point is Gap is doing very well. We've got everything organized. The one thing I have to tie down is the location. And I'm actually looking at something like Asbury Park, somewhere along the Jersey Shore. Something like that seems Sounds like a beautiful. I'll get a hold of Springsteen and see right. if we can't work something out. Because I know he would like, you know, some community development for that area. Do you have your actors in place? I have my my first string. I'm probably going to have third and, you know, fourth string. Who are well. the actors that you've booked? At? Any names? Anybody I, we would know? I don't want to reveal Denny anything. Dillon? I mean, there are a couple of people from the Ron and Fez uh, World? Net, uh, you know, yeah, Is I got KOP a playing a... Huh? Is KOP playing a role here? The yeah. Shelley Winners part. No, I have no idea who's KOP. Oh, jeez, it's sad. <laughs> uh, uh, is Bobo in this? Bobo is very actively involved, but it, we're all having our, our family problems and we're working through them. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, you got Bruno Kirby, you got Bobo, you know, we're all working. Bruno through. Kirby's going to be in this? He's, no, we're, we're, they're, we're, they're behind the scenes guys. Right. We, we, you know, our cast is essentially going to be 20 somethings, you know, all 21. Have you, do you have those? Yeah, everybody. What? Every, do we know any chicks who would be perfect for this film? What about Swissy? She's a Bada Bing girl. Swissy would be good. Frenchie, Solera. Winnie well, Cooper, can, Solera. We're shooting for, uh, we're figuring around. Inez. And West July. Side would be perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, and I asked you guys to come in and cast some girls from I am. I, I'd be glad if they come in to audition and do whatever, you know, their little tricks. That'd be great. I mean, but the How many people will you be murdering in this movie? Well, the original plan was for five. But I see no reason why I can't squeeze in another three or four. You murders. can kill as many people as you need. I, don't, I really don't Just pretend they're fetuses. I'm going to tell you right now, people love a gore fest. They love a shower of blood. I know. Wait a I minute. Would that be the perfect title for this film, Shower of Blood? I already have the perfect title. What's that? Gap. Everyone's going to think it's about a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, Shower of it's, Blood. It's, the Bronx Abortion Clinic. Well, it could be a, right, let's uh, stop abortion uh, jokes, because that's for Monday. The title under the title. But Maybe. in any case, as I say, the biggest problem I have now, the, really the only main problem I have now is, is deciding where it's going to be. That way, once we know where it's going to be, then we can set up. It's going to be like a house party, and I'm going to be killing people in the basement. How long does this take you to shoot? I expect to shoot in three days. All right, what about this? People don't shoot their vacation videos in three days. I understand, you, but you, the, here's the premise. The premise now is it's an overnight radio host, okay, well. with the chicks in there hanging out with them, okay. right? You could use this studio maybe, or I can check around. Now, as these murders are taking place, people hear it on the radio. Yeah. And Master Poe is drunk and at home. He's not able to, you know, it's overnight. He's got to sleep first. Well, they actually just did that with that, but I'm just saying. And can anyone save these girls from dead air? It's dead air. Dead air. Jesus, that's great. Yeah. But the point is, the <laughs> only you. Prob the problem with that is, is that if you're doing it over the radio and you're killing people, won't the cops know exactly what's going on? No. They think it's a bit. Right. Oh, a bit. Of they course. think it's a bit, and they're like, remember, Orson Welles did this. Well, I'm not falling for it. And then here's the weird thing. The two cops kill each other. And, of course, the cops are always idiots in the movies, like in The Lady Killers, where the woman... I didn't say that. Don't ruin it for me. Yeah, where the woman tries to bring them all the money, and they say, oh, you go keep it and spend it yourself. What about this? At the end, we find out that the killer... Is the host of Black Rock Coalition. Oh, jeez. And then it all goes out with funk. It ends as a kind of a big funk beach party. Well, as I say, I'm filming this in three days. There's no reason 3D? why... 3D? I, I can't wait. There's no reason why I can't film two movies in four days. <laughs> wow, twice the movies. Gap two. You, you're basically <laughs> going out there like they did The Matrix, <laughs> where you're shooting everything. Plus, we're going to do the Gail O movie... So we could do actually three movies in five days where we just have people following Gail O around while we keep her out of the house. She is going to allow that to happen? 
Oh, aren't, yeah. With oh, her yeah, movie, aren't you just doing stop action where you watch her decompose on the couch? No, no, but I mean, if you if you buy a lot of alcohol, she'll follow you anywhere. Right to my balls! Oh, this way right. to the Bronx! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm excited. Okay, good. As I say, if, if anybody who has a nice vacant place... Somewhere on the Jersey Shore, that's what I'm kind of shooting for right now. You're looking now. to have a nice little vacation out of this. Well, this yeah, it's a vacation, a, a party, and uh, a lot of murders. I, it, it seems like it could be a, a, a no-fail, no-lose. All right, I, we've, uh, we had a song sent to us, which was about Gail L. Oh, who did this, Fez? Is this John from Belfast? Yes. All right, so this one comes to us from Northern Ireland, Paulo. Oh. Uh, and it's about Gail L. Let's give it a listen. Hey, kids, look who's here. The parents love the children, and they know the children have fun with the balloon animals and the puppets. There's puppets! It's time to stop screwing around and face the fact that you're a little person, you're going to grow up, and it's going to be hard. That's a wonderful. If you go down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you Better go in disguise For every bear that ever there was Is gathered there together Because today's the day The teddy bears have their picnic Jonah and Lanae, would you want to live with that lady? No. No. Yeah, this is a horrible world. So why are you crying? I don't want to bring up terrorism to these children. Kid, don't listen to her. It's too late. You upsetting me? It's a kid's show today. It's a kid's show. Every teddy bear who's been good is in for a treat today. There's lots of marvelous things to eat and wonderful games to play. I'm married to a man who forced me to have two abortions. All right, this is not oh, for the well, kids whatever. to hear. You know what? oh, I know, children. Take it's, off your headphones. Yes, oh, take geez. off the headphones and run away. Are you afraid, Lene? Yes. Yeah. No, he's Look at Uncle Earl. He's basically just holding his own ears. Paulo, you and your wife have frightened the children today. Okay. And I basically have ruined well, what was a really lovely, fun kid show. And someday you're going to turn 40 and say, oh, what happened? It's a kid show. Did you know she called from just outside that door? She ah! All right, very nice, huh, Paul? Okay, and, uh, you know, I was very happy to talk to Lene again. You know, because we used to talk all the time. She didn't even remember, oddly enough. I know. Because uh, was... All right, I, asked, uh, I heard that John send this, so I asked our producers, how is it? They're like, okay, but I've never heard the song before. How do you grow up on the planet Earth and not hear Teddy Bear Picnic? What? I never heard Teddy. I never grew up on Teddy Bear Picnic, I swear you to God. You don't have to grow up on it, but it is one of those kids' songs that everybody has to deal with. All right, Paulo. Okay, sir. All right, so you all you need right now is a house to shoot in. A house to shoot in. And uh, you're done. And now, I'm done. I know that your your guy, uh, Bruno Kirby, fake Bruno Kirby, is a realtor. Shouldn't he be able to come up with a cool house for you? Yeah, I know. But as I say, both Bobo and, and Bruno have been having, uh, you know, a few family issues. That what, what, what are their problems? Well, again, I, I, I feel that I am very close to these guys now, and I and I want them to work out their problems. I don't want them to be burdened with... Are they going through... Uh, uh, are they both splitting up? No, no. I mean, Is Bruno they, losing his uh, wife? No, no. Well, what is it then? You should tell us. I Maybe we can help. I Look, I have revealed my personal problems on the air, mm -hmm. and I refuse to uh, compromise anybody else's... Well, let me ask you this. Would you even know these two guys if it wasn't for the show? No, I, of course not. Then uh, I believe it, uh, it belongs on the show. Okay, What's going on uh, with Bruno? It, it is, in fact... A uh, somebody's uh, mother did die. Oh, jeez! Why bring that? Is this the way the movie starts? No, and uh, and I and I, you know, I, he's he's doing very well, and I mean, he's well. He's, I I wouldn't if somebody brought it up on the air later. I agree. Does and, friendship uh, mean you know, anything, frankly, you Paul? You don't value a confidence very much, do you? And so. Um, you know, as you know, my mother and my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, and, you know, we went through all of this where they all died, and we all talked about it in the air. Right. And, and, and that's fine. And that helps. Because I can handle it.